Mark, ahead of tomorrow night, there's obviously not much turnaround time between the two games. You, you've had the lads in this morning, so, so what kind of things have you, have you worked on? No, it's good not to have too much time in between. We want to get out on that pitch straight away and uh, put a few uh, wrongs right. Um, it was a, an uncharacteristic performance from us. I feel that we were growing as a group and then Saturday was a real uh, step backwards. There's no hiding from it. Uh, we, weren't, we weren't good enough. It was a bit of an infectious performance where the negativity was passing on to each other and um, yeah you know like I said anything else would be excuses yeah there's some experienced boys in the in the stand yes the referee decided to give a corner for their first goal when it was a, a blatant throw-in um, but that would only be papering over the cracks and I'm certainly not offering any excuses that was nowhere near the standard that we have set ourselves that is nowhere near um, the performance that we worked so hard during the week to put out and we frustrated ourselves and we frustrated everyone else around us because we've shown that we are a group in progress. Um, but Saturday was a, was a big kick in the teeth. And the only great thing about it is we've got Tuesday coming up very quick to, to put that right and show we've got a bit of a real strong character and mentality now. How do you get that reaction from the players? It's obviously, it's not as simple as, you know, just, just saying let's, let's, let's do better. There's, you have to do a bit of work on the training ground and, and speaking to the players. So what kind, of, what kind of things do you do to get that reaction? I think when that happens, you've you got to do your own soul searching. You've got to look at yourself in the mirror and you've got to know your own responsibility and you've got to stand up and be counted. This, this game isn't for the faint hearted. This isn't for the weak. You've got to stand up and when things aren't going as well, that's when you, that's when you really want to see your your character and the personality of your players come through. So, you know, for the first time this season, there's probably been some, some questions asked of us and it's up to us to stand up and answer them now. Obviously, we've, we've been fairly decent at home this year. Obviously, you know, Barnet and, and Halifax are the standouts. So it's, it's good to have another, you know, another home game at the ebb to, to kind of work that out, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Like I said, that, that was one of the factors which made Saturday so disappointing is we're working so hard to to uh, make sure that our home form is good and we've and we, and we failed to do that now but that, that's gone now we're going to draw a line under that you know a good performance Saturday a good a good rea a good performance Tuesday rather and a good reaction we can put that down to as a bad day at the office and, and a big learning curve so we, we, we can't see some of the things that we that we saw um, you know we need to be sure that we execute a lot better we play with a lot more bravery and a lot more awareness and a lot more intensity um, you know when we when we haven't got the ball, um, you know so, some people were guilty of running around a bit too much without no thought of it, and a couple of others probably didn't quite hit where where they where they needed to be. So um, like I said a lot of soul searching, a lot of questions being asked. Now's a chance to 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 answer those questions. We saw Faisal get his first start, and um, obviously Vinny got a brilliant goal and, and played well as, as he always has done. But obviously Tom Whelan comes back from his suspension, so is, is there a selection headache there in the midfield? Look, Tom's showed what quality he had against Halifax and unfortunately the sending off um, you know, hurt us on, on the Saturday but obviously hurt us against Willstone as well because we were, that was what we were lacking was a, a little bit of an experienced head in amongst the emotion of a game that wasn't going quite our way we couldn't quite wrestle it back and uh, that's when you certainly look behind you and as you know, three experienced players sitting in the stand they can certainly help manage certain aspects of the game better for us but again that's no excuse people got to stand up and be counted but um, Tom coming back in um, in, in a round for selection is only a, only a good thing for us. And another good thing was obviously seeing Giles back on the bench. Um, and, and in terms of those experience heads, can you give us any updates on, on Parts or Josh McCord? Uh, Parts is up in his recovery at the moment. He's yet to join in any, any training. He, he's still, he's to tick a few more boxes off till we get sort of handed over into team training. Uh, Josh McCord, uh, unfortunately, is going to uh, need a longer time out um, with, a, with, a, with what is a little bit more of a serious knee injury. So, um, you know that's a real frustrating one for us because you just you can't replace players of that experience. Um, so, so that's a difficult one. So we're going to have to find a way of dealing with that. Uh, with Tom Whelan coming back in, available suspension certainly helps that. Um, but yeah, and, and hopefully Parts will be joining them soon. Click here for the latest match highlights, and click here to subscribe. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.